My name is Jim Elder. I was uh, raised in Coeur d'Alene. I was born in Minnesota, 1944. Went through school and my childhood here. Growing up in Coeur d'Alene was a unique experience. The population was about 10,000 at that time. In the 80s, because I had a business downtown, 35% uh, of the uh, businesses in downtown Coeur d'Alene were closing every year and there was a change and uh, we had between 25 and 30 percent if you look at Sherman and Lakeside between 1st and 7th Street uh, we at any given time had 25 percent of those uh, buildings vacant and it was a very difficult period and in the early 90s we uh, the mayor put through, uh, the current mayor, she was not the mayor at the time, but she headed up a group of uh, uh, people, Brad Jordan was involved in that, and uh, there were some grants that came in, and they began the development of the downtown, that's when they put in the pavers and the new lighting. And that helped some, but it was still, even in the late 90s, there was need for develop, and that's when the urban renewal was formed. And uh, the intent there was to help uh, economically improve the downtown as well as the district, and that was going out Northwest Boulevard. But I can remember in 2000, when we returned, 1999, uh, Northwest Boulevard was uh, like driving in through a ghetto to get to the downtown area in a five-star resort. Uh, there were old dilapidated buildings and much of that improvement has been created by urban renewal. If you look at Northwest Boulevard today, there are only a few of those old buildings uh, that are left. So there have been some real enhancements. The, the artwork that we have downtown and the feathers that you see uh, at uh, uh, Northwest Boulevard and Highway 90, uh, all of that was, were all of those were improvements that uh, I think made it a much better entrance into our community. Well, I, you know, I, I, I think we have a unique uh, community, and uh, we're going through some struggles right now with. Uh, you know, a, a difference of opinion on what we should be in the future. But I think the thing, this is a very giving community. Uh, in spite of the political conflict we see, um, people are giving and caring uh, like I've never seen in any community. And I hope we don't lose that because uh, I, I think uh, I read this years ago, Desmond Tutu, who uh, the renowned South African and Nobel Peace Prize uh, recipient, uh, said, if you give a little bit, you put it together and you can overwhelm the world. And I've always believed that. If everybody each day would do a little something, to help others, especially those that are less fortunate, you put that together and it's incredibly powerful. And uh, I feel we have that in this community. Uh, in spite of the conflict on political issues and what the future might be, we still have a very caring, giving community.